here with the new gun. It came in. I've only had a little bit of few chances to shoot it, but we decided to get the new Brocock Sniper Magnum XR. People online, whenever we did a poll, overwhelmingly voted for this gun versus the LCS SK-19 that we had uh, proposed. Um, we are glad people are happy with the Brocock because we are too. It's lightweight, very durable. Y'all know I'm very rough on my guns. And this gun is going to shoot at a higher power than the concept light that I've been shooting with before so that we can shoot the larger iguanas and get a quicker kill with them and be as humane as possible. So it also has four settings like our concept light. So it's going to be at the highest now 46 foot pounds when we're using an 18 grain pellet versus our um, concept light that shoots at closer to 30 foot pounds with an 18 grain pellet at the highest power. I just want to give you a few reasons why we chose this gun. So first off, we chose Brocock because we know Brocock is extremely reliable and accurate. So the accuracy will come with the brand of Brocock for us. And so we also needed the consistency of a regulator. So the Sniper XR came into play for that because we have the regulator here. We also wanted the gun to be lightweight and this gun is. The weight distribution is a little bit different from our concept light. The weight is more around this area in this gun versus the concept light that's more in the right handle. So, um, but if it still has a lot of weight distribution in this area and um, is a very comfortable hold whenever you're trying to freehand, which y'all know I shoot freehand, which is important to me. Um, Another main reason we chose this gun is that it has a very smooth side action as opposed to the bolt action that Brocock used to use. It is um, smooth cocking and easy to load each pellet even between shots so you don't have to bring the gun down like I've had to do with my, uh, with my bolt action in the past. And it is a, the, the merging of the tactical version of a gun and a bullpup by Brocock. So the bullpup would put the barrel and the breech a little further back on the gun to shorten the gun. And this has done that as well as maintaining some of the tactical um, features of some of the smaller guns by Brocock. So this is the side action that is featured right now in all of the XRs by Brocock. So there's now a Concept Light XR, and this is the Sniper Magnum XR. There's a regular Sniper XR. The Magnum just provides more power. So this one has a max um, FPE of 46 foot-pounds using an 18 grain pellet. And um, my understanding is the regular Sniper is much more like the Concept Light I already use. Highest power would get you closer to 30 FPE using an 18 grain pellet. So this gun will be stronger than the concept light I'm currently using. So we did a survey on our YouTube asking people what gun they recommend because we know a lot of our viewers have extensive air gun experience and knowledge. So um, overwhelmingly people voted for the Sniper XR um, by Brocock over the LCS SK-19. I think we had a 70 something percent voted for this gun. Um, we strongly cons consider the SK-19 and we still may look into the SK-19 in the future of the LCS. Um, but we trusted Brocock to be what we needed. So we went with this. It's also really gorgeous and I couldn't pass up this fun stock. So, um, Another option was going to be the Edgun Lishi, um, but we've heard that the Edgun has a low fill rate, like a low shot rate per fill, and so um, we were concerned about that because it's extremely inconvenient for us to go back to our vehicle to refill guns. We uh, need to be able to stay out in the field and chase down those iguanas. We want to give a special thanks to Air Guns of Arizona, especially Lauren and um, a few other friends over there that have helped us with um, guidance on the gun, helped us getting different parts, answering questions so that I can provide better knowledge to all of you and better information to all of you on the videos. They were so kind as to send us these awesome shirts. We got some fun Air Guns of Arizona hats. 
And um, I want to show you some other features for working with Air Guns of Arizona. They have an excellent um, customer support service and will answer the phone. This is not something where you got to wait days on a call back. They'll put you in line and call you back the same day. When you receive a gun from Air Guns of Arizona, they're going to give you um, a photo of the test shots, even tell you who shot it what pellets they were using because these are the recommended pellets for the best shooting of the gun. This gun is already fine tuned by Air Guns of Arizona to shoot at the ideal regulation on the regulator. And so I've spoken to Air Guns of Arizona, even though this gun is, you can adjust the regulator on your own, it is highly not recommended. You can send your gun back to Air Guns of Arizona and they will tune it for you and they will um, make sure that it's shooting at the regulation rate that you would like it to be at, at the best performance that it can. And then um, that way you don't cause a leak in your gun and things like that that some people can cause whenever they try to re change the regulation on their gun. All right, so I just wanted to show you all real quick the moderator that we got from uh, Air Guns of Arizona. This moderator, um, can fit on a 22 as well as a 17. They have other options. You can get a 25 or a 30 cal. Air Guns of Arizona says that they have worked with the zero dB, zero decibel um, suppressors here. And on some guns, they've been able to show that it actually improves accuracy. Now, in addition to it actually getting rid of all the sound whenever your gun shoots so that you can be sneaky, it uh, comes in a number of colors and um, has a really nice look to it, really enhancing the look of the gun. I'd hate to put an ugly moderator on such an expensive and fancy gun and make the end of my gun look terrible. So um, we've been really happy with the Zero DB and um, we're going to let you know how it's performing for us more and more. We've only been able to shoot a little bit of the gun, which by the way, I got to say, in six shots, I was able to zero the, the Sniper XR and um it's just killing it it's killing it it's so consistent so very consistent so we're gonna get some shots of iguanas for y'all soon and we'll have a video out showing uh, sniper xr in action okay so i want to take a chance to show you how you refill this gun so if you get one you could go ahead and start shooting right away so um this gun has a magnetic cap that covers the refill station right here you can um if you don't have fingernails, you can reach in and pull it out. I'm going to set him in my pocket so I don't lose it out here. And here's our recessed refill uh, nipple. And so they actually provide for you one of these little shark bite guys that will bite onto there and um, reach as far enough so that you can go ahead and attach this to a, a hose or a... Um, or whatever refill station you use. So we use a scuba tank and we're gonna be able to attach this to our scuba spout that we have, um, that we had modified. And then um, we should be able to fill our gun right away with it. So we're super excited to start doing that. And we'll show y'all how we refill it whenever we um, get a chance by the air tank. So another fun feature of the new Brocock series is their improved um, metal magazines. This magazine holds 10 shots and it has a magnetic door so you can hear the magnet catch and it's it takes a little bit of pressure to open it up. When you drop pellets in they cleanly sit right at the top. You don't have to catch a pellet or anything like that. To load this magazine you do have to go ahead and preload the spring like you would in some other magazines where you turn it all the way pop in your first pellet, load the rest. Because it catches the pellets right side up, it's really fast to load. I'm oftentimes trying to load a magazine quickly and um, I'm actually feeling like this is gonna become a faster loading magazine than what I've been dealing with. So um, the new magazine only fits the new guns. And so if you have an older version of the Brocox, you need the older magazine, but um, this new magazine is definitely a step up in compared to the plastic rotary magazines out there.
shooting the second target. I think that shit was right on. You should go look. You can't. Let's see how it shoots. Did you do a follow up shot? Let's check out that second shot, that second uh, spot. So these are the shots I was taking, these three. Not that one, that was from zero in. Those are the shots, freehand, about 20, 25 yards. The iguanas are doomed. 